Unfortunate. This will prove much more difficult without someone of your unique talents and circumstances. She raises her gauntleted hand and gestures to the dwarf hovering at the periphery. The dwarf nods, the supernaturally wide smile returning to his face. He gestures for you to follow him. No sooner has Barith spoken than you feel yourself dissolve. It is not an unpleasant sensation, something between falling asleep and drifting on a warm current. Your essence is pulled through the Adra, where it mingles with the stuff of thousands of other souls. Your thoughts, your memories, even your identity as the Watcher fade like a dream. Eventually, your soul reforms and finds its way into a small, crawling thing of fur and claws. You know the world by sound and scent, as food and danger. The concerns of gods and nations are beyond you. It is a simple and satisfactory existence, though your mind can conceive of no other. Whether it is a long one will depend upon the Watcher Bareth chooses in your stead.